weather turned a lot harsher compared to yesterday. Yesterday in the 40s, today barely managed to make it back to 20 degrees this afternoon. And later tonight, dangerous wind chills are on the way, which is why we have a handful of advisories to talk about. Uh, so Stevenson County around Freeport, you'll see that advisory go into effect within the next hour and last through noon tomorrow. So all of tomorrow morning spent near that dangerous level with wind, shear, uh, wind chills near minus 20. That means frostbite within 30 minutes if you're not careful. Also areas west of Freeport seeing that advisory advisory through tomorrow morning as well. Doesn't mean the rest of the state line is out of uh, the harsh cold. You can see that uh, we feel like three above at Rockford currently. A couple uh, areas already down below zero, which is why Freeport, you're going to see that advisory go into effect within the next hour. Already 10 to 15 below in Joe Davies County, another spot that's under the advisory tonight. It could be worse though. Uh, as you can see, we're slightly above zero or slightly below zero, uh, but into the heart of that Arctic air, some spots in the teens to 20s below zero now and that likely will worsen a ton later tonight. Uh, so as we look at the forecast moving forward, well, most spots will be near or slightly below zero within the next hour. We're closer to 10 below by about midnight and then 15, 20 below as we head into sunrise tomorrow, uh, which is uh, why we have advisories uh, with that frostbite danger. So extra layers definitely needed late tonight and all throughout tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be near zero tonight and then only back to 14 for tomorrow. So tomorrow easily the coldest day of the week with a lot of sunshine though. So at least that may help ward off the cold a little bit and a lighter breeze. We don't see the blustery conditions that we had today, so that'll help the wind chill a little. Still looking at that wind chill near zero all throughout tomorrow afternoon. Uh, now we're going to be stuck in a cold pattern for a while, not Arctic cold like we're getting now, but still may not see a ton of relief moving forward. And here is why you can see this large rise in the jet stream that's bringing warm air all the way up near Alaska. That forces the cold air though down south to us. As you can see over the next couple weeks, we're just locked into that chilly pattern with even harsher air coming into early next week and it sticks around into the end of the month. Uh, so we really don't see a ton of relief handy until we get to about February. And uh, now on top of all this, the weather does warm up a little bit this weekend, but turns active light snow possible each day between Saturday and Monday. Jet stream directs a couple weak storm systems towards us. So we might see some flurries Saturday morning, and then we could see some light snow Sunday morning. And then again on Monday, as we stay within that active pattern, that should retreat by the time we get to next Tuesday. But as you start to make your weekend plans, be aware that the roads may not be fully clean because of the warmer, but somewhat snowy weather ahead. Then we drop back into the teens early next week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, there could be a somewhat warm day lurking into next week. You can see late next week, we could possibly get up to near freezing, uh, but that may be about as warm as it gets for a while, Brittany. I'll be on the lookout for that warm day, Alex. Thanks. Coming up